I'm Joe Biden. I'm Jill's husband. <laughs> Before I sign, let me uh, start with a few words uh, about what's going on now in, uh, in Florida. And, uh, you know, uh, the people who are here who are part of what happened that night at the Pulse nightclub and the scores that I just spoke to a moment ago, they're online looking at this. They understand that um, what it's like to have to wait and wonder what happened. The families, I remember going down there to the Pulse nightclub afterwards and, and uh, wondering, is it my son, my daughter, my husband, someone I love? Is that who got lost? Because they didn't know for certain initially. And as, uh, as Congressman Cecilini knows, there's nothing worse than having to wait and wonder what happened. And uh, I know, Val, when you were a police chief, you had to go through waiting a lot as well. And, uh, and so I just want to say I've spoken to Governor DeSantis, and uh, we've provided all the help that they have, they need. We sent the best people from FEMA down there. We're going to stay with them with the disaster declaration we made, provide for everything from housing to, God forbid, whether there's a need for a moratoria to, to, for, for the bodies to be placed, everything in between. And, uh, but I just, I just want to say, and I'm sure I speak for all the members of the Congress here today and, and all the survivors here, that, uh, that uh, it's a tough, tough time. There's so many people waiting. Are they alive? Will they be? Will it happen? And so our heart goes out to them. And uh, I, uh, the people of Florida, I want to, I've spoken to Debbie Wasserman Schultz. I've spoken to most of the folks down there and, and member in authority. And I promise you, the administration, the Congress are doing everything possible to be of assistance now and after this occurs, uh, after they decide uh, uh, exactly what the state of play is. But I'm glad to welcome everyone here uh, to the uh, adjunct of the White House here and in person and virtually, survivors and family members, victims, uh, and uh, the uh, path-breaking leaders like uh, Senator Baldwin. Just over five years ago, the Pulse nightclub, a place of acceptance and joy became a place of unspeakable pain and loss. And we'll never fully recover, but we'll remember. And we have to, what we're going to do is what the members of Congress here did, and enshrine in law as a consequence of that law, enshrine in perpetuity, a literally monument to the loss that occurred there and an absolute determination that we're going to deal with this every single solitary day and make sure that we're not in a position to see this happen again behind me. You see on either board there the, the 49 lives lost, family members, parents, friends, veterans, students, young, black, Asian, Latino, all fellow Americans. And in their memory, and for the countless others forever scarred, is why I signed this today. And, and let, let me say how much I appreciate, and I mean this sincerely, the, the, the commitment of the members of the House and Senate to make sure that we don't forget that this isn't forgotten. Now, there's a tradition when a bill is signed that the president uh, gives a signing pen to each of the people who had something to do with uh, the law or the decision being made in the first place. I promise you, I have all the pens put in the other room. I couldn't figure out how to sign, <laughs> sign them all. But don't leave without the pen, OK? All right? All Thank right. You. <laughs> May we never have to sign another, no president ever have to sign another monument like this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And one last thing. As I said to, uh, to the survivors and their those who lost folks uh, a little earlier in private. You know, uh, what the Congress has done means a great deal, and it's important. But it's really hard 
it brings back everything as if it happened yesterday. And every time there's a memorial service for our son, Bo, you know, you're, you're flattered, you feel good about it, you think it's, it's wonderful, the recognition, but it's, uh, it's tough. It's, it's as if it happened yesterday. It happened the day before. It happened the moment you signed it. So I want to thank the folks who are here and the folks who are survivors or on, on Zoom with us. I want to thank them for their courage. And I really mean it, for their courage, but I promise you, none of the members of Congress that are here, nor I, nor Jill, are going to let up until we deal with equity across the board. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.